My year at Beacon made me think that anything and everything was possible. Someone said the statement, seeing is believing. They said, you know the Walt Disney statement, seeing is believing? It's real. And that was it. Like, that was it. Like, it, in that moment, it just, like, hit me. My name is Kyle Umemba, and I graduated from Beacon Academy in the class of 2007. After I graduated Beacon, I attended Buckingham Brown and Nichols School. Then I attended the George Washington University, where I studied finance. And then um, I started working at PwC, Pricewaterhouse Cooper, as a management consultant. I wouldn't be able to do both or to balance it or to do it all without Beacon, you know, without, without learning kind of the grit and the tough part and just working through it. When I was in Beacon, I was given a great experience and, and I was given this chance to see another world. And then when I got into that world, I was wondering why couldn't everyone have a part in this world? Your zip code should not choose your destiny. You should not have to be subjected to a school that doesn't meet your needs and your desires just because where you were born. There are too many times where there are kids in Roxbury who want to be conductors, and Chelsea who want to be part of student government, and they're just not given the chance or the opportunity. And what makes it worse is they think that that's okay. What Beacon does is it provides a level playing field. It provides that opportunity. It provides that chance when no one else gives them a chance. We had an interesting conversation at Beacon, right, about having a mask, right? A lot of people felt like when you're 13 years old, do you wear a ma are you wearing a mask in this situation? Or basically, are you being true to yourself? And how can you achieve being true to yourself, but also feeling comfortable in this environment where no one looks like you? They contradict each other. What are the realities after leaving Beacon? I think the first kind of reality, right, was I was the only black male in my grade. Um, and being the only black male, I was the only person with my perspective. And, and what I had learned at Beacon Academy was how can you apply your perspective organically, right? And how can you still be true to yourself while being in an environment where you're by yourself? But when you go to bb and or you go to these schools and you come from our environment, you come out like a superhero, I'd say. You can see both worlds. You know both worlds. You know how to speak in both worlds. You know how to succeed in both worlds. You know what works. And you've had enough time with the uncomfortable and wrestling with that at such a young age that as you get older, when you get to my age and you're in the, in the workplace, it's not out of the ordinary. Like you know how to speak and you know how to speak to partners, directors, managers, associates across any firm, across any country, across anywhere. The greatest life skill I learned was perseverance and just hunger. They taught you, right, what are you striving for? What are you, what are you working towards? Who are you, where are you coming from? And it was like amazing because it's something that applies on every level. When I got to BBNN, I wanted to be the top student. When I got to George Washington, I wanted to have the highest GPA. When I got to PwC, I wanted to be promoted. The topics are a bit different and they're supposed to be tougher, but it wasn't tough because I think the hard lesson was learning how to persevere and how to be hungry. And, and, and to me now, it's just like, it's second nature. It's just a, it's a machine at this point, right? And, and it's a machine that I kind of learned the fundamentals and my basics from Beacon. And it's just been a building process since then. You know, I think it's the real foundation. Is a year worth it? My kid has to give up a year. It's a question that, that you come into it until the first day and you realize that's the worst question to ever ask. Before I went to Beacon, I had applied to 14 private schools and got rejected by all of them. After that, I got to Beacon, I was really down and, and thought about that a lot. And what I learned right away at Beacon was you had the talent. The skills, we're gonna hone on it, 
and the resources we're going to provide. Beacon is going to be there to provide those resources and provide that networking and provide that kind of experience that you need. And we're going to get you to that level. When you have the talent, when you have the skills, when you have the resources, anything is possible. You know, and then after Beacon, I had applied to 12 schools and got into 12. So it showed me that I had what I needed and nothing was going to stop me no matter what level it was at. You go there and life's easier and you see a different side. It's not you just get to go to these different schools, you get to go to the best colleges or whatever, it leads you down a certain path. You see something different in yourself and in your vision. And the only way that you can believe in what you want to be is if you see it. And that's what Beacon is. So is that worth it? Yeah, you ask yourself that.